I dealt with a whole other set of issues that was you really body interesting. Shamed? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I guess I mean I did gain weight, but I I don't care. Like right. I did. But did it get to you at all? A little bit, yeah. yeah. But you know what's interesting is is I posted this photo on Instagram and I was like, I'm super like there's more to love. I'm happy with myself. And right. the reason why I did that is because I I didn't want them to win. Because then the next day it wasn't about how I gained weight, it was about how I embraced it. Selena Gomez's 2019 breakup song, Lose You to Love Me, may now have a new layer of meaning for some fans. The pop star recently responded to a TikToker's claim that she was always skinny when she dated Justin Bieber, who always preferred dating models. So what is the real truth behind the famous break? Let's unpack at all. But before we continue, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel so I can bring you the hottest tea every week. Beginning in 2011, Selena and Justin experienced a tumultuous on-again, off-again relationship for seven years. In November 2017, they made one final effort to make things work, but in the following March, they permanently parted ways. Justin and Hailey Bieber began dating just three months later, and by September 2018, they were officially wed. In her 2019 hit song, Lose You To Love Me, which describes the experience of a breakup leading to self-love, Selena detailed her sentiments regarding the breakup. In her recently released new documentary, My Mind and Me, Selena explained how she came to write the song. Selena stated, I texted Julia Michaels and Justin Tranter and said, I think I'm ready to just say I'm sad. We wrote the song in 45 minutes, the fastest song I've ever written. Selena admitted that the former relationship, the majority of which took place in public view, still haunted her. She remarked, Everything was so public. I felt haunted by a past relationship that no one wanted to let go of. But then I just moved past it. And I wasn't afraid anymore. I feel like I had to, to go through the worst possible heartbreak ever. And then just forgetting everything at the drop of the hand, it was it was really confusing. But I just think that needed to happen. And ultimately it was the best thing that ever happened to me. She even admitted later in public that it was her relationship that caused her a lot of emotional abuse. It is now that she has gotten brave enough to talk about it, but it hasn't always been so easy for her. I found the strength in it. It's dangerous to stay in a victim mentality. Gomez said of her on-again, off-again relationship with Bieber in an interview with NPR on Sunday. And I'm not being disrespectful. I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse. She was even asked again if she would term the trauma as emotional abuse, and she agreed. She said, yes, and I think that it's something that I had to find a way to understand it as an adult, Gomez said. As much as I definitely don't want to spend the rest of my life talking about this, I am really proud that I can say I feel the strongest I've ever felt and I found a way to just walk through it with as much grace as possible. There's a big reason why Selena said that the breakup was the best thing to have ever happened to her. It is now coming to light that Justin Bieber likes to date models, and Selena, being a singer, had to keep up with his expectations so he wouldn't leave her for someone else. Selena was forced to be someone she was not, and that was clear recently. On November 29, 2022, a Selena fan account posted on TikTok a short video about the reason why Selena is always skinny when she dates Justin with a short montage of Selena from the year she dated the musician. At the end of the video, she posted a screenshot from an old Instagram post. It said, Selena Gomez posted a beautiful selfie earlier and I commented to her, Justin Bieber really messed up. I still love both of you though. Jelena forever, heart. In the screenshot, Selena allegedly commented, no love, he'd rather models. I'm just too normal. What's so important about all of this is the fact that on the TikTok video, Selena commented the sad emoji face. Yes, you heard that right. In her documentary, My Mind and Me, Selena shared about her health journey when she was diagnosed with lupus and received a kidney transplant. Because of the tragic incident, she ended up gaining weight. In response to comments about her gaining a few pounds, she said on the Giving Back Generation podcast in 2019, she explained, For me, I really noticed when people started attacking me for that. It got to me big time. It really messed me up for a bit. Some fans interpreted the singer's reaction as agreeing with the claim that Selena had to stay skinny for Justin. However, many others took it as the 30-year-old star being disappointed that her weight was still being judged and a topic of discussion even after all these years. We also have to keep in mind that fans used to speculate that Haley and Selena had beef in the past couple of years, but Haley dispelled the rumors on the Call Her Daddy podcast. She said, I respect her. There's no drama personally. 
that's why I'm like, it's all respect, it's all love. That's also why I feel like, well, if everybody on our side knows what happened and we're good and we could walk away from it with clarity and respect, then like, right, that's fine. Then she explained how the three of them talked about their relationships and it brought a clearer understanding from all sides, saying it gave her a lot of peace. We're glad that she had moved past the trauma of the past and all that came with it. I mean, all of us remember how horrible her addiction phase was. Some people say that it was because of the heartbreak and fat shaming Justin did that she moved towards drugs. The management team claims that Selena Gomez had a emotional collapse that necessitated another stay in treatment. It was in the hospital when she was being treated for a low white blood cell count related to her lupus that she reportedly had this breakdown. The announcement of Selena Gomez's third trip in treatment came only a few months after ex-boyfriend Justin Bieber announced his engagement to fiance Haley Baldwin. Given that Selena and Justin had their final breakup in March of 2018, this was stunning news. Although she was worried, pressured, and overworked, her addiction to social media was a major reason in her decision to enter treatment. Most individuals automatically associate substance abuse with alcoholism or drug dependency. Addiction comes in many shapes and sizes, unfortunately. The Selena Gomez Instagram addiction scandal highlighted the potential danger that young women face while using photo sharing apps like Instagram. Actress Selena Gomez addressed the recent reports about her Instagram addiction, saying, When I saw that I had more followers than anybody else on Instagram, I had a moment of panic. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard it when I woke up and when I went to sleep. As an addict, I felt as if it was forcing me to focus on and care about things that I otherwise would have ignored. Each time I check Instagram, I feel like shit. so I'm hiding out, if you will. So if you look at it, all that fat shaming led to a lot of trauma to her both mental and physical. So do you think there's still any beef between the Beavers and Selena Gomez? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.